Hey, what's happening? Let's take a look at my little invention. I've had this for some time. I've got a bunch of them to show you. I, I told you many, many months ago that I had about a thousand little things like this I've created. Um, probably would have looked better if I actually made it out of black paper. I've got a couple of these. I just used cream. But, what is this? Well, it doesn't weigh anything. It'll only cost you one dollar and about 15 minutes to make one and is the coolest why didn't anybody else think of this why am i the only person to think of stuff like this other people create stuff like this kind of in the same genre but it's convoluted and stupid and takes forever to make and this doesn't weigh anything and it costs you a buck so what is it let's take a look at the underneath side oh my goodness let's see what is that oh my goodness that looks like a translucent material and on the top here we have an angled piece. What could be happening in there? Oh, let me see. Oh, let's take a look at the results. Uh, obviously this is incredibly boring, but uh, nevertheless, ta-da! Very unexciting, right? <laughs> I was just going to show you a, dem a demo of uh, the... Get in close. Do -do -do -do. There we go. Let's take it apart and I will show you what it is and how simple it is to make. Let me take my Nikon speed light off of my camera. Now I have three pieces of Velcro ultimately holding this together. They're little Velcro strips you can get at any hardware store. Boom! Not going to affect your speed light any. Let me take the Velcro off. Now I made this double thick with construction paper. This is my old one. I've got another one of these somewhere. I don't know where it is, but uh, anyway. Da -da -da -da. Let's take off the Velcro and show you simplicity is divinity. That's my motto and it applies to most things in life, including a neat photography, do-it-yourself stuff like this. Now the length of this is 19 centimeters by a 14 centimeters drop. I'm going to show you how to make it. Now I lined this with black so that there would be no light escaping through the bottom side underneath here, right underneath here, to cause uh, uh, light uh, pollution. And uh, the 14 centimeters right here is uh, lined with mylar. You can get one of these dollar space blankets, they're emergency space blankets, you can get like, I don't know, I think. The space blankets are of course huge, one will last you basically forever, but uh, I've got a, quite a few of them. I make all sorts of neat photographic do-it-yourself crap with this stuff. Um, one will cost you about a buck. You can get like five of them for five dollars. And this is a uh, double layered uh, tracing paper right here for my translucent reflecting material. So what I have here is when I actually close it up like this, you see what's going on, you see how to make one yourself. I have an incline drop right here, so as the speed light uh, illumination is coming through here, it's actually reflecting all along this internal mylar mirror and actually shooting out underneath my translucent uh, tracing paper right down here. Now, there's uh, there's some translucent uh, ugh, translucent uh, plastics that you could use uh, that are really lightweight, but this thing doesn't even weigh an ounce. I don't even think it weighs basically like half an ounce. So you can fold this thing up completely and stick it in your camera bag since it folds up on itself like a piece of origami if I could actually fold it up here there we go just like that so it'll actually fit in your bag just gonna fold it up like that there we go that's how I had it like that doesn't weigh anything doesn't take up any space takes you only about a minute to put together and assemble under your speed light so if you're out in the field obviously if you're packing or if you're doing a nature photography and you want some sort of uh, uh, close in a diffusion uh, light diffuser for doing, I don't know, flower or bug photography. This works. It doesn't work good. It doesn't work well. It works extremely well. Obviously without the Velcro holding it together, of course, it's kind of flimsy, but nevertheless, it doesn't weigh anything. Three strips of Velcro. You get these little Velcro stenches at your hardware store. Like a, These are basically cable ties for like uh, taking all your uh, computer cables and uh, getting them clamped together so you're not tripping over them all the time. That's basically what they're used for. You can find them at your hardware store. I think like a five pack is three dollars or something. But ultimately building this thing will take you about, well the first one might take you half an hour, but you know you can make it in about 20 minutes and basically for a buck or two. 
and it works really, really well. It doesn't weigh anything, and it's totally portable. It actually doesn't work really well. It works excellently. Let me, let me backpedal on that one. It does, in fact, work excellently. Flat out, no ifs, ands, or buts. Build one yourself, okay? Remember the uh, throw here is 19 centimeters, and this is 14 centimeters, so the total length is 33 centimeters. And the rest of this, just fold it out and see how it wraps around your speed light and just trace it off with a marker or whatever, then put a nice crease in it. You know, just kind of how it roughly fits around your speed light like that. And when you put your Velcro on it, you know, cinch it a little bit tighter so it holds in place. You don't need to put anything on your speed light at all to hold it in place. Just the Velcro straps to hold the whole thing together and to hold it on your speed light. You don't even need to throw out the front diffuser panel on your speed light. Um, working distance on it is as close as your macro um, strobe, excuse me, your macro lens will get, and the furthest distance uh, is actually a little bit over like three or four inches past the very tip of uh, the end of the unit. So, if you're what you're shooting in macro is basically right about here, that's the furthest limit. So, you've got this incredible working distance. I mean, that's where 99% of your macro work is anyway. So, if it's out here, then well. It's a little too far. <laughs> like I said, it still covers 99% of your working distance on macro. And of course, I'm using 100mm Tequina. It'll basically cover definitely 100% of your working distance on 60mm macro or 90. So, perfect, awesome, cheap, easy to make. Thanks. If you like this video and drop a bucket too, tell me to go jump off a cliff. Another one of my crazy inventions. And it's not crazy because it's cheap and it works great. Promise me. Build one yourself. You love it, okay? Thank you for watching. Catch you later. I'm going to go get some more caffeine and uh, make another video.